The Federal Reserve kept its key interest rate unchanged Wednesday for a third straight time, a sign that it is likely done raising rates after having imposed the fastest string of increases in four decades to fight painfully high inflation. The Fed's policymakers also signaled that they expect to make three-quarter point cuts to their benchmark interest rate next year, fewer than the five envisioned by financial markets and some economists. Our actions have moved our policy rate well into restrictive territory, meaning that tight policy is putting downward pressure on economic activity and inflation, and the full effects of our tightening likely have not yet been felt. Today, we decided to leave our policy interest rate unchanged and to continue to reduce our securities holdings. The U.S. inflation rate has eased significantly to 3.1 percent for the month of November, but it still remains outside the comfort zone of 2 percent. Inflation has eased from its highs, and this has come without a significant increase in unemployment. That's very good news. But inflation is still too high, ongoing progress in bringing it down is not assured, and the path forward is uncertain. The Fed kept its benchmark rate at about 5.4 percent, its highest level in 22 years, a rate that has led to much higher costs for mortgages, auto loans, business borrowing and many other forms of credit.